when you think about Atlanta and all of those people starting to move in because you was there at a pivotal time in the city too when it went from Atlanta well, to a melting pot. Well, it's a good place to write cheer, number one. Yeah. And we have some good education institutions if you move your ass out near Alpharetta. Yeah. The further you go out, you know, the better. The better schools. You know what I'm Better schools yeah. and crime is loud. That's flat. If you want to get in the inner city, yeah. you're going to have some problems. You're going to get carjacked, maybe. <laughs> you're going to get dough locked. Yeah. You know, that's a big culture around here. Bop, pop your door and get in Come there and on. get your pussy. Y'all niggas is bad at that. And it's only because long. y'all ain't gave them shit to do. Give them something to do. Exactly. Build the economy in the black community and the crime will go down. Exactly. So, you know, everybody's responsible. All the way from the governor's offices all the way down to the street kings, all the way down to the big homies, man. Yeah. Fuck you mean. You know, we control our own narrative, man. Yeah. So, we all here. Everybody's here. And it appears... That people coming from elsewhere can pretty much get on or get more opportunity than the people that are really natives here. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I guess it's just a, a, a character defect that we all possess when it comes to our own home places. Jesus was never accepting his own time. Yeah, motherfuckers want to remember you as you was yesterday. Come on, but man, wicked been the tone. You do yourself a grave injustice to judge me by yesterday, cause what I was yesterday, I'm no longer today, baby. Come on. <laughs> 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 I mean, real talk, man. I'm with you. I ain't that motherfucker I was yesterday, nigga. I've grown. I ain't that motherfucker from five minutes ago. Wow. I said, <laughs> hey, I said, I said, you, I said, you know why I delete a post? Talk to me. I might put a post up at 12 o'clock. Yeah. You know I delete at 5 o'clock, at why? 12 o'clock. Why? Because I'm not the same man five minutes ago that I was. You did. Let me get it to I you one more time. About it. You do yourself a grave injustice to judge me by what I used to do yesterday because of what I did yesterday I no longer do today man that's right I'm a brand new motherfucker man you know so you know that, that that's a problem as well man you know and uh some people just never accept it you know they'll give a motherfucker go right past my man you know for the quality of stuff but number one they ain't gonna give us no opportunity we know too much yeah mm -hmm. you know you can take an uh, individual new in this game yeah very talented not with the knowledge and wisdom about what they're supposed to get yeah. That's me, you, and him, B. Yeah. Now, you're going to fuck with a nigga that you can use and misuse and abuse and take all his publishing and take his talent and give him what he want. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let me give you a good example. See, we be looking at the industry like, oh, man, that nigga on. I was reading the article. Drake made, uh, forget my numbers right, $23 million on side arts and clearance. Side arts, side arts performances. Now... 23 million now. Yeah. Outside of performance. What you think he got out of all that? Shit. That was... nigga got $6 million, bro. My God. You know why? He got a publishing deal. And whoever his publisher is, they getting a large percent of the monties because he took a hell of an advancement wicket. Mm. So out of all that money, $23 million this one year. Right. He ain't give a six. Cause they advanced him so much money that they got to get all their money before Drake start getting any goddamn money. You feel yeah. me? So sure. when you, you start know. when you start looking at the Mary J's and all them and, and the amount of airtime they got and these big ass artists, bro, no, 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 no. Somebody got some up in their ass. Somebody <laughs> got they, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Somebody putting them in the position. <laughs> Somebody making sure they work so they can get that motherfucking money back to David exactly. Baxter, man. So stop thinking that they. Yeah. <laughs> right, it's somebody yeah. behind somebody, somebody with, some, with some money. Yeah, you had ready you that record on the radio. Somebody to put a sack up, man. Somebody exactly. to make some money, man. Yeah. So this ain't no motherfucking fly by night shit, and this ain't no you know what I'm saying abracadabra. You have to really sit down, come up with strategic plan, and, and I mean a plan. And that's one thing I hate. Wicked a pet people, man, is playing record company. I want to know what the fuck I'm gonna be doing in October. The first weekend, the second weekend, and the third weekend. Don't wake me up in the morning talking about that shoot a video off from the hip. That ain't big record company. That's playing record company. Yep. Don't take me to the club and you spend ten thousand dollars or fifteen thousand dollars of promotion money on a bitch we ain't never seen in our life. And your shooter sitting right here will kill a nigga for you. You won't even pay his goddamn. You won't even pay his fucking. Uh, won't pay his goddamn mortgage. Right, yeah. He finna get kicked out. I'm talking about the nigga will go go ham for you. Nigga like that to us is red meat, man. Yeah. You know, put out a goddamn, you got the you got the real VS1s on. You done got the whole clip. 
motherfucking Muhammad jury. Yeah. Well, I'm plea, I know Muhammad and his wife. <laughs> I'm poster boy. I, I get the clothes. I get the, I get the Gucci and the boots and everything sometimes. That's all business, though. That's all business. Right. That's all business. <laughs> I fuck with Muhammad. You know what we yes, got some nice Gucci motherfucking boy. You put that shit with the real shit. You can't it work tell. it out. <laughs> you can't tell. You can't tell. That's all business. That's all business. But anyway. <laughs> all that playing record come to see it, man. That yeah. shit bad in Atlanta, bro. Go down to the club, nigga. That through twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars on a motherfucking bitch. She don't even know. Mm. She get up in the morning, go buy here, pay here, get her little, her little C class. Yeah, some bundles, lashes, <laughs> and a Birkin bag, and the money gone. My God. Now I wish. But you. your, but your killer, your shooter, little dirty T-shirt and drawers on shit. This nigga lawyer as fuck. His Come mortgage on. due. That's the culture of Atlanta, man. I can't play games with these cats, man. Exactly. That shit's sad, B. I'm with you. That shit's sad. We don't do it like that. Exactly. I, I, got, I got a tip for her. Look both ways before she got them across the street. Vote for Hillary next time. Come to probably wouldn't be messed up. That's the tip I got for her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We just, that, that, that was not our culture. We took that money. You, I can take them ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars and promote a whole label for a whole year with that shit. Yeah, the way the, the way the business going. Yeah, but see that just shows you people in the culture of Atlanta. What you ask me is backwards. Yeah, yeah. they playing record company. B, I can't play with you, man. Yeah, I can't play with you, man. I feel you. But it ain't even that hard these days, man. All you had to do is goddamn get you a little money, get the markets to promote it, and shoot the traffic to where your shit at, bro, and put it up on all platforms. You got to do something stupid to get some attention now. Exactly. I do something strange for some chain, man, but uh, the way this shit going, I can't, I can't play game with these niggas, man. <laughs>